have a look at Adobe Media Encoder, or AME, which a lot of people call it. I'm working on the CS5 trial of this, and this comes bundled with the Premiere and also Creative Suites. Now, Adobe Media Encoder, I'm just going to call it AME from now on, it can actually import files in two ways. You can import your sequences from After Effects or Premiere Pro, which is great because then that frees up those systems. And you can also just drag and drop or even put watch folders together. Now the settings I've given you, I'm going to show you how you put them in and we're going to go over it slightly as well. So I always just have a color bar sitting here and I've dragged in the file which is given us here. You can then select any of the presets that you wish that comes bundled with um, AME. Now what we want to look at is the MPEG-2. If we look at the Blu-ray or the DVD, this is going to be in the 420 section. We're looking at getting a 422 file out, so I'm going to select MPEG. Once done, I'm going to click on the MPEG and it's going to take me into the presets editor of AME. Once we're in the preset editor, we come over to our um, open up a preset, which is this little folder right here, and we click on that and we navigate to the desktop and we're going to put in a 422 PAL, which is going to be right about here. Once done, it's going to ask you what you want to name the file. We can name it whatever you wish. In this case, we'll probably just call it uh, UK. Click OK, and now in your presets, this will stay here forever. You will notice down the bottom here, we have DG Fast Channel 480 and 512. Now there's a little bit of an issue here because this is the back end of this transcoder is main concept. With that 512 preset, you're actually going to letterbox it. It's not going to insert the VBI. You'd be more safer to use the 4801, which would be full height, and then contact your digital distributor as well. I've given you presets anyway because I've found out that on the white pages of DG, they require upper fill where this preset is lower. So once we're done, let's have a look at this preset now. So in the multiplexer, it is going to be MPEG-2, and it's going to be constant bitrate is what we're looking for. The video is going to be PAL, 720 by 576, 25 upper wide screen, and this is where we can select our 422. It's going to be main level, and if we keep on going, constant bitrate is 50, and we're doing iframes as well. Let's have a quick look at the audio. It's MPEG layer 2 and stereo, 48 at 384. Another cool little feature here, which I haven't added, is that you can put an FTP site in here. So this will push the files to it. So talk to your digital distributor, find out how they're going to be receiving the files from you, whether it's through FTP or an accelerated program. And then you can even put a watch folder on your desktop, go into there, it will transcode it and push it to the FTP, which is really cool. So this is only scratching the surface of AME. I've given you the presets, install them and trial as many as you can to your digital distributor and I believe you'll find that this is going to be a very simple way of getting a file to them.